Shalom Abuha. Many are asking me about the lost 10 tribes. There is something very amazing on that matter and very important to make everyone aware of and as much as we can to assist people to understand the real operation that goes on here on earth. So the people of Israel, when we went out of Egypt around 3000 years ago, we were chosen by the Creator, the Maker of the world, um, to be those ones to receive the laws of the Torah and all the blessings that comes with it. For us to use that wisdom as a tool to illuminate the lives of all the rest of the nations, to be a light to the nations, it's written. And we took that upon ourselves and went after long journeys and a lot of sufferings, we conquered the Holy Land of Israel that we been promised by Hashem to receive by the merit of Abraham, Yitzchak and Yaakov. And definitely Esav was not inheriting the Holy Land and definitely Ishmael was not inheriting the Holy Land. As the Torah itself testifies. Now, after a little bit less than 1000 years since we came to the land of Israel, the kingship of Ashur, the Assyrian, exiled 10 of the 12 tribes out of the land of Israel. And they so called have been disappeared from our eyes, from our awareness. They have not kept the laws of the Torah as the tribes of Yehuda and Binyamin that left in the Holy Land under the kingship of King David. The people who stayed with King David and his kingship enjoyed after around 1000 years to the building of the temple by King Shlomo and then enjoyed as well the building of the second temple in the days of um, of um, in the holy days of the second redemption that took place out of Babylon um, by Ezra Sofer and Nehemiah that were two prophets that illuminate our eyes and rebuilt the temple of Hashem. So in the sem second temple, the sages were revealing the holy wisdom, the generation of the sages that taught us the laws of the Mishnah and the amazing next generation of the sages that is called the Amoraim generation. And after that, Savoraim and geniuses, Geonim, and on and on. So the wisdom of the oral Torah that was given to us in the Talmud was given only to the tribe of Yehuda and tribe of Binyamin and the other individuals like few of the tribes of Levi and on that stayed under the kingship of King David and they are all called Jewish people, the Jews that we know as the people of Israel of today. Now, the main thing is that when you want to conquer the certain destiny or you have a certain goal to achieve there is a revealed plan and there is a hidden plan. The revealed plan is that the people that are called Jews will keep holding this wonderful position of being a lighthouse to the nations. And they will shine the light of the Torah and will teach and will reveal their good manners and all the gentle and amazing behaviors that we inherit and received and educated and taught by our parents and great grandparents, grandparents and great grandparents and on. All the amazing beautiful 
Jewish tradition that is being given from one generation to the next. But the hidden part of this amazing purpose of creation that Hashem sent 10 lost tribes to the exile and those 10 lost tribes are holding within them a great desire and an amazing passion to come close to Hashem and to be one with Him again and to be observant and to keep and follow the Torah and the mitzvot but in a hidden way, in a way that is not revealed and that inner passion of the souls of Israel, the 10 lost tribes, even though that on the surface, they're not even considered Jewish. They're not part of our nation in that aspect, but in a hidden way, they are part of that tree of life that is the great family of Yaakov. And our siblings of the 10 tribes are not different than us and we're not better than them in any way. And that thing means that in one day the Mashiach will come and as a mother bird will tweet to its cheeks, to its babies, and they will all wake up. Mashiach ben Yosef will call from the right, Mashiach ben David will call from the left, and all the babies will wake up and will remember who they really are. And when that thing will take place and will happen, everyone in the world will suddenly recognize and grasp and understand the hidden purpose of our creation. Suddenly, hundreds of millions of people will recognize their true identity to be the people of Israel, to be the lost and forgotten tribes. And they will all desire to come back to the homeland and they will all be super protective and in brotherhood and friendship with the Jewish people that are the revealed nation of Israel and together we will cooperate and bring the world to its purpose for the complete redemption of the whole wide world for us to be the source of light for 70 nations and for us to shine the light from outside and from within in a revealed way and in a hidden way when everyone will wake up to understand who they really are and what is their real position and purpose in life, we will be able to bring back the crown to our king and to be the real defenders of the crown and defenders of the heavenly kingship of Hashem, our God, the Almighty. And may we see that with a happy heart and a wishing soul in our days. Amen.